Happy holidays, everyone. Welcome to the Auto 123 Show. I'm Donna Mailing Park, and seeing as this week marks the official start to the winter season, let's pull into the pit stop to double check your antifreeze levels and fill you up with some winter driving tips. Yep, winter is here and we thought we'd take the opportunity to offer you some unsolicited advice. You know, it's that time of year where there's lots of tips and suggestions on how to confront the elements. You know the standards, bundle up, cover up your face and hands, don't stick your tongue on any cold metal objects. But in case you're behind the wheel, you should really pay attention to this. I know it's cliche, we hear it at this time of year, every year, but here are a few important winter tips for you and your car. Before you leave, no snow. Now perhaps the most important tip I can give you is a good set of winter tires. Not only are they becoming mandatory in some provinces across the country, but uh, here's an interesting statistic. You can actually stop in 50% less distance with these tires equipped with that triangle and the snowflake than if you were equipped with all season tires. Next tip, winter wiper blades. This 2010 Honda Civic has all season blades, but as you can see, there's no frame to it. So ice and crap won't get stuck in there. So you're okay, but you still want to replace them maybe once a year, at the most every two years. Next step, battery. Make sure that it can hold a charge, that it's in good shape. Believe me, and you'll understand, nothing is worse than walking up to your car when it's minus 20 outside and it just won't go. Next tip I can give you, have an emergency roadside kit with a blanket, maybe some flares and some gloves. Now that you're on board your car, you want to know more about it. Most new cars have ABS brakes, but a lot of people don't realize what it is. Find a deserted parking lot, slam on the brakes, you'll find out really quickly. Try and avoid tailgating. Keep a safe distance between you and the car in front of you. It's a question of braking distances. Once you get to an intersection, be aware of what's going on around you, especially when you get to the top of the hill. It's very populated there, there are a lot of cars, lights, blowing snow in certain situations, you know, when it gets ugly outside. Now, visibility. If you got headlights, turn them on. If you got fog lights, use them. Lastly, people with SUVs, 4x4s, often tend to overestimate the abilities of their vehicle. It takes longer to brake in some cases because they're very heavy, steering. Those are all things that you have to keep in mind, even though you can take off from a light faster than everybody else. Everybody, be safe on the road.